Hello everybody. Welcome to my guitar vlogs. I think this is guitar vlog number 9 and today is Saraswati Puja, you know, goddess of, you know, education, music. And anyway, so we are going to talk about the pentatonic scale, you know. There are many people who don't know about it. So I'll give you a basic exercise to just get you started. First two shapes of a minor pentatonic scale. And before we get started with minor pentatonic scale, what I would like to tell you is about what is a pentatonic scale. So penta means five. So we've got five notes. And if you are curious, then you should know that pentatonic scale is originating from a minor scale or the Aeolian mode, whatever you may call. So a minor scale has got seven notes and a pentatonic scale has got five notes. So you can already assume that or understand that there are two notes that are missing. So the, those two notes are the second and the sixth. So two and flat six are missing. So the core notes of minor pentatonic scale are basically one, flat three, four, five, flat seven. And if you can, if you want to think in terms of arpeggio, then you might call it a minor seven add eleven arpeggio. Okay, so one flat three, four is eleven. Five and flat seven makes it one flat three. Five flat seven makes it a minor seven chord. And with that, you're adding the fourth, which is the eleven. So it's a minor seven add eleven arpeggio or scale, whatever you may call. But if you are not into so much theory then don't worry it's okay we are just going to learn two shapes quickly and you should practice and I'll tell you how to practice and then we may get to the next lesson in some other vlog okay so it's quite breezy here you know and it's quite sunny also anyway so we are going to take a look at a minor pentatonic scale I'll tell you the notes of a minor pentatonic scale Put your first finger on the fifth fret um, sixth string so first let us learn the shape and then I'll talk about the notes so the shape is pretty simple you know symmetrical types so one then four four is on the eighth fret right if one is here two will be here three will be here and four will be here so this is the common way of fingering the guitar okay standard way so if I say one here then four you will obviously assume that it will be on the 8th fret so 1 4 the next sh shape is next string notes are the 5th and the 7th so 1 3 next string also same 1 3 next string also 1 3 next string 1 4 then 1 4 if I'm going too fast just pause it and rewind it so I'm, I'm going to repeat 1 4 1 3 1 3 1 3 1 4 1 4 all right and you are going to do the reverse also so this is my shape one and here you you can see the A minor chord sitting like this or A minor 7 alright so lot of great solos most of the rock solos are based on the minor pentatonic scale so the notes are a c d e then this is g a a c d e g a c d e g a c okay so this is my shape one and the shape two is like this you put your second finger on the C note which we all we have already played so here you put your second finger two then the fingering here is two then four eight fret this is the eight fret C note eight ten then first finger on the seventh then ten one four the next string one four seven ten again next string a seventh fret first finger then three here on the ninth fret then uh, second finger on the eighth fret what is this second string fourth finger on the tenth fret and similarly second finger on the eighth fret fourth finger on the tenth fret so it's and 
talk let's talk about the fingers here two four one four one four one three two four two four and here we are not starting from the root note because we have two notes per string so let's not make it so much stretchy so we can start with any other note so here the note sequence is C D E G A C D E G A C D D C A G E D C uh, A G E D C So whenever you are playing if you tell the notes and play forward and tell the notes and come reverse then the notes actually stick in your mind so it becomes very easy for you to remember so that's about it I'll stop it here so you learn these two shapes and try to you know practice these shapes over a minor chord okay if you strum a minor chord and record how you can practice or you can take chord progressions from uh, a minor scale also you know if you already know it otherwise just continue with this progression and practice hard and I'll see you soon don't forget to follow me in steam it and also you can check out my website musiccircle.in and also you can go to my youtube channel whatever you feel like but these lessons are not in youtube as of now so you'll find it in steam it only thank you very much and I'll see you soon bye bye